situation with its governor having his This what happened when I came by you. I get in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah. This time of crown, I want it to be different, yeah. Waiting on a sign, guess it's time for a different prayer. Lord, please save us for me. Do this one favor for me. Hey Battle Bays, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is hot. It's like 102 outside, I think that's what it said. But it was like 109 degrees in the car. Y'all had to let my car run for a good 20 minutes before I even got in, before I was even able to feel the cool breeze coming out. I don't know why it took so long, but my car only made it down to 104. So currently it's 104 in here, but it's bearable because I have the AC that's blown on me that I have just turned down so I can actually talk to you guys. So it's getting a little hot again. I don't know about y'all, but this whole Ipsy nonsense, they need to get it together. They should have did like 18 trial runs or launched this offline or something like that and make sure all the kinks and stuff was out of it because it is making things way more difficult than it needs to be when it comes to like leave and stuff like that. So I don't appreciate that. So on top of that, um, household goods and all that other good stuff, we're getting all that stuff figured out. So Trey's people came to move his stuff today. So as you all know, you know, um, we are engaged, we're getting married soon, but as it stands right now, we're still going to two different places. So his people came to move his stuff, and then my household goods so goods people will be there in a few days to move my stuff. So we just kind of, kind of tried to split it up just to make things a little bit easier, not too hectic in the house. Um, and so that's pretty much what we we're doing, just organizing everything. Are you taking this? Are you taking that? Are you getting the couch? Are you getting to bed? What dishes are you taking? You're like, it don't matter, because at some point we're gonna be back together, we're gonna come back together. But as of now, we just wanna make sure each other is comfortable where we're going. So um, it was just like, it was just a process. Um, I'm actually on my way to the store right now because the people that's coming to get my stuff, they want me to put colorful stickers on the stuff that I'm going to be having them take, basically. Um, even though pretty much a majority of everything that's gonna be left in the house is gonna be mine to take, but they want me to put the stickers on whatever they want, whatever I want shipped with them because there's some stuff I am taking in my car. So um, I'm doing that right now. Hopefully I find what I need. As of right now though, I am, hold on. Y'all let me set this down. My lips are, my lips feel dry anyway. Um, as of right now, um, I also want to stop and try to take, uh, I want to stop and try to take some pictures and honestly, I'm not even dressed to be taking pictures. I literally have on, um, this gr like green top with some green bottoms that don't match y'all. I'm sweating like crazy. Look at this. I'm already sweating like crazy because I've been sitting in this hot ass car and this white sweatshirt around my waist because I'm sweating so much and I don't I have to walk through the store and I don't want anybody to see it. Anyway, I want to take a picture though because I got this. I got this from Amazon and this is a tripod. It's a very compact travel portable or whatever tripod and this right here y'all this is a this is a remote it's a remote that actually it actually comes out so um this tripod as well it gets really tall so you have to push this here and then the legs come out like that and then you when you open it the top part starts to slide out and so this is where you put the phone and so then, like this whole thing extends. And y'all, it, it gets taller than this. Look at that. So you can go ahead, extend it out, set your phone up on it, get the remote out of it, and then snap your pictures. So I wanna try to test it out. I wanna try to take some pictures um, and see if I'm gonna need that. Yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and open the vlog, let you guys know that it's PCS season, it's time to go, and I'm gonna take you guys along on the journey of getting there. Y'all, so, <sighs> mm -mm. I've been in Walmart for so long, y'all. I was in Walmart for so long. I did not do the things that I was supposed to do just yet. I didn't get anything to eat. 
And it's funny because Trey just had to remind me like the reason you came out was to get some food. And I'm wondering why I'm like super lightheaded and I feel like I'm getting a migraine. And so he's like, wasn't you going to get food? You probably didn't even drink water today. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be getting some food. <laughs> I didn't get food yet. Um, I had that freaking Starbucks drink, but other than that, I I shouldn't have even had that. It's way too hot outside to be drinking that. The only thing we should be drinking is water right now. But I kid y'all not, this man texted me around 15 30 and it is 16 23 so i've been in walmart for about an hour only picked up a few things but i ended up upgrading my phone while i was in there because i was chatting with one of the um vip people with the phone people with at t or whatever surprisingly i'm going to be paying less each month than i already pay and that's the only reason why i did it because at first it was the first guy that asked, you know, those people that stand in Walmart and they're like, hey, what company are you with? Who's your Wi-Fi service? Those guys. So the first time I went by, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to be leaving anyway. I'm just not interested. And then the second time it was another guy and he's like, well, who do, who's your phone with? And he's, I told him and he's like, oh, well, are you trying to upgrade? What kind of phone you have? And I'm like, are you trying to give me the phone for free? Because if you're trying to give me the phone for free, I'll upgrade. He looks and everything. And yeah, that's a it's it's very discounted it's very discounted i pay like two something almost three hundred dollars right now for all the lines that i currently have and i'm about to be paying less than that so i'm like all right i guess i guess i guess it's worth the upgrade and being able to pay less so whatever but y'all i was standing there and towards the end of this conversation i started feeling so 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 lightheaded like so lightheaded i'm like i can't even focus like i can't move too fast because my world is spinning around so i finally leave and i'm like trying to check out i'm like calling trey i'm like what the fuck is going on like why am i so damn lightheaded and i'm still lightheaded right now y'all and for me to be so lightheaded i had the audacity to buy a freaking energy drink it was like by habit I bought an energy drink, I bought my Red Bull, and I'm like, what am I doing? I need to buy some freaking water. That's why I ended up just grabbing this out of the freezer right there, but. Oh my goodness. It's just so hot, it's so bright. I honestly feel like this is probably a shade type of drive, because it's just, it's one of those days. I still have to go and get food. I'm gonna stop off and get Try a smoothie and honestly i want to say go home and like sit down but one i know it's about to be super hot in the house because y'all the ac in the apartment has not been working um at all to be completely honest like i'm telling you the apartments that i live in straight trash just disgusting just straight trash so during the day it is extremely hot to the point you literally have to walk around booty butt ass naked in order to be comfortable and even at night, it's pretty horrible. So yeah, there's like, is there even a point of like going home? Yeah, look at these shades that I found at Ross. These are, um, I don't know what style they are, but there's some Gucci shades that I found at Ross and they have like the little like Gucci like thing right there. And on the side, I just think that's super cute. And then it came in this super cute glasses holder case or whatever i really like this thing this is so cute and it has like a little gucci logo in there it came with this dust bag and like just this i guess a little cleaner with the gucci on it and then honestly i don't even know what's in here i haven't opened it yet but let me look Y'all, I'm so lightheaded. The only reason why I'm still sitting here is because I'm just trying to let myself calm down, cool off a little bit. Oh, I guess it's an authentication card. Cute, oh. cute, cute. Y'all, I be telling people all the time, they be sleeping on Ross. I be finding some really nice stuff at Ross, some really cute stuff at Ross, and I be so excited. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and um, finish drinking some more of this water and go grab food and make my way home because I feel like today was a fail. Today was definitely a fail. I'll probably just end up sitting around and turning in some assignments. Oh my God, doing this and closing my eyes, my world is spinning. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm about to go home. I'm talking to y'all probably tomorrow. 
there ain't nothing else I got planned for today anyway. Down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his It's what happened when I think about you. I get in my feelings, yeah. I start reminiscing, yeah. Next time around, I think I want it to be different, yeah. Waiting on a time, guess it's time for a different prayer. Lord, please save her for me. Do this one thing 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 Hey y'all, what's up? Please ignore the way I am looking right now, y'all. I did nothing with my hair whatsoever. I was going to do something with it. Hold on. My lips are dry. I, was, I swear, every time I come on here, my lips are dry. I'm needing to put some on my lips. Anyway, I was going to do something with it, but honestly, I just don't feel like it. I've been, um, I've been packing and like just getting myself organized and everything for tomorrow for when the movers actually come to move my stuff because as you all know i move i'm moving i'm leaving um pcsing and the hell this dude look like he he looks like he wants to walk up to my car but he's not he's keep going back and forth walking up to my car but whatever he might just ask for some money um but yeah i did not feel like doing anything at all i actually got up pretty late today because i was just so tired and i low-key had a freaking headache but i ended up waking up so i can take care of the cats i had to get the kittens baths and moving stuff and getting everything organized i finally finished editing a video and it's currently uploading so i'm just waiting for that to upload so i can get everything finalized and make that live on my channel and y'all i got a new phone my phone finally came so i did show y'all the unboxing of y'all my bad i hope y'all can hear me i'm about to turn my air on right now because it is just too hot it's still 107 degrees right now and i don't know why i thought it was a good idea to try to sit here to try to sit here and record something with you know no ear on anyway now i'm about to go ahead and head over to the broadway Broadway 5050 and grab me burgers and tater a burger and tater tots and Trey wants a burger and fries and then just go back home and chill honestly until come on I'm gonna chill honestly until it's time for me to get back up and start reorganizing again and going through my clothes for tomorrow because they're supposed to be coming out between eight in 1700 tomorrow to get the stuff so i'ma see y'all when i get home with my food or i'ma see y'all when i see y'all dirty south uh -uh. can y'all really feel me feel us east coast feel me feel us west coast feel me say what dirty south uh -huh. here we go can y'all really feel me baby girl east coast feel me uh -huh. west coast feel me can you feel us dirty south dirty dirty can y'all really feel me feel me east coast feel me say what west coast feel me uh -huh. So it is the next day. Today is the day they're supposed to be coming to finally start moving, um, like moving the stuff out. So I just been around here, like trying to clear everything out and organize a little bit more. And I just realized I gotta take those pictures over here off the wall and set them in there somewhere. But it is 10:09, and I am about to leave out and try to rush to Chick Fil A because um, I haven't eaten breakfast yet, and I honestly want some. What are they called? The um, the little the 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 little bites. I can't even remember what they're called right now. Hopefully, I even make it. If not, I'll probably have to like go to snooze or something like that. But yeah, much. I'm about to head out now. Um. And I'm not going to miss them. I'm supposed to be here between eight and seventeen, but he just called and basically said that um, he has a job 
ahead of me so he's running a little bit behind schedule so i should have about a good hour to like go grab food eat it and you know be done because i'm pretty much done here this mess but yeah i'm gonna see y'all in a bit y'all i seriously need to get a new camera because something is going on with the bottom of my camera like there's a part that's not supposed to open it's like breaking off it's breaking off and it's irritating me but it's fine, it's almost time for me to get a new camera anyway. Because one, this one just don't have the quality that it used to once have. And I've been playing around with the settings and stuff like that, but mm, it's just not, it's just not what it used to be. And I've had this camera since 2018. So it's it's been, it's, it's been through a lot, okay? It's been, it's been like dropped, had things spilled on it. The freaking, um, what is it? The, the flip screen thing breaking so I had to get it fixed like this camera has been through a lot but I don't know what kind of camera I want because right now I have the um, G7X Mark II and I like it I like it and I might just go ahead and get three if I do upgrade I don't know yet I need to go and actually play around with some cameras I don't know if that's something I can do at Best Buy because I feel like the Best Buy here it didn't have like it didn't have what is it like um what is it like the cameras that i needed to like test they have like the cameras and stuff sitting out but the one that i want the ones that i wanted to look at they didn't have those sitting out so i don't know but i'm gonna see y'all when i get to chick-fil-a i'm really hoping i make it for breakfast because now i'm i have my mouth fixed for those freaking um chicken this is insane you know the little chicken nuggets with the bread on it but yeah that's how is it that as soon as I go to make it home with my Chick-fil-A, it is raining. Like it lit, like come on. It couldn't have waited like literally a few more seconds for me to like get over there under the stairs and it's raining. What's up? It is the next day. It is the day after the Packers ended up coming to pack everything and they did just that. They only packed everything. They didn't take anything with them. So I have all the boxes and stuff here. The couch is still here. Um, this chair and honestly, I completely forgot to take this picture up here off the wall so they can go ahead and wrap and pack that. So they'll probably just have to end up doing that today. Oh, and this mirror back here. I don't know why they didn't take that down. Um, that's going with me too but yeah they came yesterday they packed everything they were actually here pretty late um they got here like an hour after because my my block time was between eight and five like eight in the morning and 1700 in the evening and they came at like 18 something or something like that it was really late then they were here for a few hours more crew members had to come and so they didn't have time or space to pack it onto the truck last night so I just said, you know, it's fine if they come and do it today. So that's why we have this. And they should be out coming today um, to pick all this stuff up. They said somebody was supposed to have been out here early today, actually. So I'm waiting for, like, a phone call. Oh, I'm going to grab my phone. I'm waiting for a phone call, a knock on a door, something. Um, I'm waiting for a phone call, a knock on a door, something. But yesterday I had patience for this. I had a lot of patience because I just really didn't have anything to do. That was pretty much my thing to do. They were supposed to actually come um, to be packing the stuff and taking it away yesterday. Uh, but yeah, that 
that didn't happen so I had patience yesterday because that was the only thing I had scheduled to do today I actually got things I have to do I actually have reasons I have to leave this house I have errands to run so I don't have time to like wait around all day today and it's already 9 30 i didn't even eat breakfast this morning yet because obviously i can't cook breakfast everything in the kitchen is packed up let me just double check that actually okay yeah everything in the kitchen is packed up y'all tell me why when the people came for trey's stuff they ended up packing my protein they packed my bloom they packed they packed both of my proteins so that isopro what is it like the lip, strawberry lemonade protein that I have they packed that they packed my um, vanilla protein and they packed the bloom and it's crazy because it was with everything that was sitting up here like why would you grab that like why why are you grabbing like food items to pack like I don't know so I didn't even have that to eat this morning or drink on anyway this morning so yeah I'm just waiting to go honestly Trey said he's on his way back from the company so I'm probably just gonna have him here while I run a few of the errands that I have to run in the event he don't have anything to do himself though because I have something sitting at the Amazon locker as well that I need to go and get before they ship it back to Amazon so I don't know it's just a lot but after this after everything is gone everything is cleared out of here we're gonna start like um getting this place back together so we actually have to go to Lowe's this might take a few trips going to Lowe's I have to rent a machine so I can go ahead and clean the carpet and everything just make sure the walls and stuff are wiped down and just do everything in the hopes of getting my freaking security deposit back so yeah all that nonsense is about to begin as well but I'm gonna see y'all in a little bit because I think I'm about to go ahead and try to sneak out so I can get some breakfast because i'm hungry but let me show y'all my outfit so i have on this little crop top or whatever nothing too special so i have on this crop top with some mom jeans and it's zipped i promise it's just for whatever reason this has a crease in it and it won't stay this way but i have my mom jeans on that i got from fashion nova so cute and y'all i finally learned how to crop my bottoms what is it crop my hem or whatever i don't know i learned how to do this so i'm super excited about that because it just looks so nice so nice with my shoes and that's honestly the reason i wanted to show y'all this outfit because i'm so proud of what like that looks like and then i'm going to be carrying this brown bag that i found honestly do i want to carry this one yeah I'm gonna be carrying I'm gonna carry this one yeah I'm gonna be carrying this bag that I got from Ross oh look who's here look who's here y'all we spoke him up <laughs> but um yeah so do you have anything to do today what are you about to do Yeah. What are you about to do? I'm going to take them out. And then, add to my appointment. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your appointment. What do you want to eat for breakfast? I'm about to run out and try to grab breakfast real quick. I don't I don't get a call or anything from these people yet, so I don't even know when they're coming. Uh, great. Hmm? That's amazing. Do they think you're going back to the company today? Huh? Do they expect you to be back at the company today? Uh, not really. You can tell me after this. It is okay because i was going to say i don't know when they're coming and i have a lot of errands and stuff that i have to run so um i was hoping you can be here because i don't know when they're coming but yes we're about to go ahead and get up out of here y'all look at this look at my outfit you want to send the paper huh so, you know how to go. no she was saying <laughs> as far as the scent that i am wearing i am wearing this perfume um, by coach that i found at ross and y'all i like this a lot it just feels it's 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 not too much going on but it's like 
it's a really soft like not sweet it's really soft though there's something I don't know it's something about it I don't even know the notes that's in it I just sprayed it and I'm like yeah I like that gotta put on my favorite piece of jewelry in the world and then I'm gonna put on my Pandora bracelet and honestly I'm gonna go and get another charm for my bracelet me and Mia because I have got Mia a little small um, Pandora bracelet I'm gonna go and get her a cute little something to maybe get us something matching but yeah look at that thing like y'all I love this ring look at that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I recently, I told y'all, I think I said in this vlog, no, it was in the last vlog, I had to get it resized and so I had to change the um, description on it. So inside the band, it's only the date that we met, um, which is fine because for some strange reason, they couldn't make like what he wanted to have there legible. Like it was, I don't know. But all right, I'm about to go ahead and get my life together real quick so we can get up out of here. Y'all, I swear, every time I come and get in this car, uh, oh, I'm wait a second. Oh, there we go. Every time I'm in this car, I realize that there is something that I forgot upstairs, so I have to get back out the car, run back upstairs, and get whatever I need to get. I had to go and get um, what's going on here? I had to go and get my son's glasses for the ones that are new here that haven't seen my kids yet i have kids okay i have two kids i have a little girl and i have a little big boy okay my son is about to be 13 this year my son is about to be 13 this year and my daughter she is five going on six y'all so i have kids okay i have kids they just probably haven't been if you're new if you've been if you came here and I want to say the last like year and a half is you probably haven't met them yet because I'm in training, you know, um, my kids are with my son's with his dad. My daughter's with my family. Yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, I had to get his glasses six because y'all know, like if you've been here and you know, Darion wears glasses and he be picking out some expensive glasses. So he has some Ray-Bans. Um, and I say my child be keeping his glasses so dirty but um he has these Ray-Bans and these are actually his favorite pair that broke and this is what they look like so it's just the the clear the clear frame with the black um ear pieces and it has the Ray-Ban on it here um Ray-Ban on it there so um he has these Ray-Bans and my daughter accidentally broke them when they were playing around and so he's been wearing his backup pair but this is his favorite pair his dad finally sent it out to me so i can go ahead and get it fixed since i do have um this insurance on it let me see hold on, now, hold on for a second because i got the reflective coating lens blah, 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 all that and then the insurance policy okay yeah so i have everything that i need to get his glasses fixed and i also had to go and get my tripod because y'all i still haven't gotten to use this thing i still haven't gotten to test it out so i'm going to try to test it out today because i just i don't know i want to take some pictures so i went to starbucks and i got my chai tea latte the drink that i've always been getting the chai tea latte on ice with light ice eight pumps of the chai six pumps of vanilla and extra matcha cold foam on top and what's crazy is i forgot to ask for it made with oat milk so hopefully they don't mess my stomach up too much but so far i've been doing pretty good and i ended up going to send off darion's glasses so um he should have those i stopped at this place um uh sukura yeah i can never pronounce this freaking place but i stopped to get me some um some food i got some teriyaki chicken and shrimp with extra shrimp and chicken and then i ended up going to qdoba to grab tray something and now i'm just sitting in a parking lot of the clinic where i have to go and pick up my meds and i am also signing my new lease for my new place i'm so excited because y'all i was stressed out because i could not like find a place one i wanted to make sure the place that i was going into was affordable because i mean let's be real the army does not cover a livable place like 
am I the only one who thinks because you will have a lot of people out here saying like if you're in the military and you're broke or if you're in the military you should have this and you should have that so I guess you think everybody out here in the military don't have a family or just single and just have pets and stuff like I don't know I don't know all I know is from my point of view my opinion the army does not give you enough BAH to have a livable safe clean decent place for your family they don't because when I was looking at the place that I'm going to I was thinking about like buying another house and stuff like that still considering it you know my lips are dry I'm still considering it but BAH don't even cover a mortgage like BAH don't even cover a mortgage right they don't even cover rent for a decent area for a decent place especially if you have more than like two kids hell if you have more than one kid that BAH really not covering much for you let alone a mortgage yeah you coming out of base pay at that point you coming out of base pay I don't know what they need to do with the BAH how they need to adjust it but these little different rates and stuff it just seemed like it's still below where the economy is given the area that it's in but that's enough of my rant y'all I could complain a lot about some of the things in the army but I try not to complain too much because let's be real the army has definitely put me in a position to live a life that I didn't even think was possible for myself to live and honestly this is like the basics I have like I have access I have things I have I have things okay I'm living good but this is like basic and I didn't even think that I could do this for myself so I mean I'm grateful for some of the stuff that the army has done but god damn anyway let me get off that so I um, finally found a place I found a decent enough place a decent enough price stuff like that so I'm super excited so they finally called me told me everything I've been talking to the girl there and I am um, just signing my lease and I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting everything and I will be moving in mid next month which kind of is like eh, I just asked her if it's possible for me to like move in sooner than that and she said maybe it's possible with the holidays and stuff coming up I don't know but it's possible so yeah I'm super excited everything is kind of coming together I'm still waiting on a call from the moving people because they still haven't called yet so I'm still waiting to be making my way home making my way downtown I'm still waiting to make my way home so I can go ahead and let them in and things start moving and stuff but as of right now they haven't called her and they definitely hasn't said haven't said anything Hey y'all, so I made it out here to Freedom Park. This is the little, like, am, what is this called? It's something theater. M, 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 something, M, it's something. I don't know what, I don't know how to pronounce it. It is this place. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, but we made it here, and I'm honestly just trying to figure out where it is that i want to take a picture of everything is really pretty this has always been a really pretty area though i love coming here me and trey used to come here in first phase when we first met and we would study here all the time um before of course we were like a thing but we still come here sometimes but yeah it's it's either i'm about to be taking a picture in this area here i really want to take a picture like right here though because i just like the greenery but for whatever reason like i'm coming out really dark in the photos and i don't know how to fix that um so yeah i'm just trying to figure that out but this is my setup got my phone up here we got the tripod i have the little clicker here and it's actually a pretty smooth tripod i really like it i like that it's compact but it's super smooth and i was thinking because like it is so compact that it was going to be really flimsy when i put my phone on it so i'm thinking like if i try to like tilt the phone or something like that it was going to make the tripod fall over no like it's really good like it's really sturdy so I'm about to go ahead and try to get these pictures real quick if I'm even able to get pictures and then I have to go home no I still have not received the call from these moving people but I'm pretty sure they'll be calling pretty soon so let me go ahead and try to hurry up and get some of these pictures while I have a chance Some people. 
ball outside of the school when a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. I begged and pleaded with her day after day, but she packed my suitcase and sent me on my way. She gave me a kiss and then she gave me my ticket. I put my Walkman on and said, I might as well kick it. First class, yo, this is bad Drinking orange juice out of a champagne glass Is this what the people of Bel Air living like? Ooh, this might be alright I feel like this will work But I'm definitely going to have to like edit the pictures To make them a little brighter Because I have no clue why it's like It's so dark Like how this camera is looking at me right now I want this to do that, but it's not Jeez I was sitting here waiting and if whoever comes out it's fine it's just I wanted to have a timeline I just wanted to run out and run a few errands and do a few more things go and yes ma'am go and do whatever it is you need to do but don't don't let us waste your day for you waiting for us sitting at home waiting for us ma'am okay no. in all honesty if it's if it's me going or anybody at, at this at this moment at this time of moment ma'am if it's anybody other than me or myself is going it won't be until around five o'clock or a little later than that again so th i don't know why nobody's contacted you this morning um because I, I got different orders they gave me three other jobs again and your job wasn't one of them someone was supposed to give me out a truck over there because i'm at a the, the contractor i worked for i worked for a contractor and he works for two different companies so the company that that's uh, handling that i got for today are with the other company so um that's why i don't understand why anybody hasn't got in contact with you okay. um but but like i said if, if push comes to shove it'll more likely be me if nobody contacts you in like within the next hour or so it's more than likely going to be me and then i'll, I'll give you a pre-call uh 30 minutes prior to arrival now um so like i like i did yesterday I'll, I'll give you a heads up so don't waste your day just go out do your stuff whatever you know what i'm saying and um and take care of what you need to take care of man okay sounds good thank you so much i do apologize for the inconvenience once again ma'am and uh hopefully you enjoy the rest of your afternoon and uh i'll be i'll be in contact with you no, thank that's you no problem thank you bye-bye bye-bye bye so i'm still waiting for um the moving people to come move my stuff and i was wondering why nobody has called me yet this morning because um i was told last night oh my god i'm sweating so bad i was told last night that somebody was supposed to have been in contact with me um early this morning and here we are at one o'clock 1 30 in the afternoon and nobody's called yet um but i'm not tripping too much i mean it's i don't have a lot of stuff to move anyway and the people that came out or the guy that came out um a few guys that came out they were really nice so i'm not really tripping over it if he's saying he's going to come out i know he's going to come out but i just thought that was really weird that like the managers or whatever didn't contact me at all like to see how my mood and stuff and whatever so um yeah i just finished taking my pictures and I honestly i need to go home and sit down and actually see what they look like because y'all don't get me wrong i like this phone but why does the like the camera the viewfinder is so dark like even without the shades and stuff on everything just looks so dark on it so i really wasn't able to see hold on i really wasn't able to see the way i would like to be able to see while i was taking the photos but it is what it is i'm about to go home and finally sit down eat my food it's been about i've been taking pictures for what almost 